Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I've got uh, a pack opening but I'm not going to be talking about what I get in the packs. I'm going to be talking about something that's affecting the whole of YouTube. You've probably heard about this because um, at the time of making it I've seen three or four separate videos uh, with people talking about it. Like I think Tmart's the biggest one. Um, if you don't know who he is, he's a big American, big American YouTuber who does Call of Duty videos. Um, but yeah, basically... YouTube is now changing the way they monetize videos, so it's affecting people's pay and yeah, now you've got to process uh, your video and it can take up to two days instead of the monetization being instant. Uh, so the ads being placed on your video instantly, now you've got to wait for YouTube to verify it and that could take anywhere from two hours to two days. So yeah. I just want to talk about it because obviously I'm a small channel and until very recently I wasn't getting paid anyway. I wasn't advertising ads on my channel but um, now I am. So you know this will kind of affect me I suppose but honestly I'm still going to be bringing out daily FIFA, uh, FIFA videos because I've never had the payment. So you know it's not really a huge thing for me yet. I hope it does change in the future because I would like to get some revenue from YouTube. I would like to make it a job like some of the bigger FIFA YouTubers like Nepenthes, A9Skills, Matt Gamer, all them. That would be great to do it as a full-time job. That's the ultimate goal uh, for me. But yeah, as I say, I've never really had that so my content isn't going to waver but obviously slightly bigger YouTubers who maybe have 4 or 5k thousand subscribers or 10k subscribers you know they might decide to go off it because they'll have got used to the money and yeah they, they may still be at school or whatever and just may not be able to do it for fun they might need some form of income um, it's a bit disappointing uh, and it's being done for copyright issues so like people were posting like full episodes of Family Guy and full movies and stuff and putting ads on their videos and getting paid from it I mean it's so stupid and to be honest I think what YouTube should have done is you should only be able to advertise your videos if you're partnered because you can advertise if you upload one video you could advertise it right now you wouldn't get very much but I think it's done through Adfly I did that at the very very start of YouTube but it was so pointless I just didn't uh, like do it for the rest of my content and I've waited until I've got a gaming partnership um, yeah, to be honest, you should just remove that ad fly thing or whatever the hell it is and just let people with partnerships be the only ones to advertise their videos because generally, well, you go through checks. Like, I had to, my channel had to be checked for copyright and I had to pass it all when I got partnered with Zooming Games uh, a few days ago. So, yeah, honestly, like. <laughs> I don't see the big deal if you're partnered they'll have looked through your content and if they have if you have any copyright strikes or if they can see copyrighted material in your videos because they do a video check on most of your content if not all I'm not entirely sure um, but if they see that they won't accept you and they won't give you the partnership so I don't know why they don't just close the ad fly system it's so stupid on YouTube's part and loads of gaming uh, commentators I bet you will leave because they're, they're just not going to have, uh, uh, what's the word, like something to entice them to do it because not everyone has the time to make videos for fun um, because as I've said before they have school, they have work, university, sixth form college, whatever, they've got other commitments and it's just really, really annoying and as I say my content's not going to waver and I hope it does get changed in a couple of months because they are really going down the wrong path with this, I think. Um, it's like what they used to do in 2008, 2007, where you would have to submit your videos for monetization. I mean, you have to with AdFly anyway, um, just not with a partnership. It goes straight through. But again, just get rid of this AdFly system. Sorry about that. That was my Xbox. It picked me up saying something uh, like I'd said Xbox, but I didn't. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, just shut down AdFly. I don't see the point in people being able to advertise their videos if they're not partnered. That would sort out 95% of copyright things, in my opinion. I mean, I know I don't know a whole like lot into this subject. That's just my guess over what I've came across. 
and uh, I don't know, it's just going to screw so many people who want to watch videos because bigger YouTubers, they're either going to, like some of them will stay the same, but some of them just won't put as much effort in if they're not getting as much money. So, yeah, and some of them will just completely stop, so you're not going to get as much content, and it's just really frustrating. I mean, YouTube has made so many mistakes. I mean, this new comment system, I'm sure like 90% of the YouTube community, community do not like it. Like, the new layout systems and stuff, like, I've got used to them now, and I quite like them now, the new layout, like, how it used to be along the sides and stuff, but now it's the banner. I like that layout, right? But originally it got a lot of hate and YouTube just don't listen to the community. They probably ask a couple of representatives or whatever and then they agree and they do it and they don't even give much warning to be honest. They don't send out surveys, they don't do any of this. I mean you can give feedback on YouTube and stuff but it, it doesn't seem as though they listen because I've never seen one video that's promoted the new comment system or is going to promote this new monetization system I know it stops copyright and stuff for TV, music and all that um, well music's not too much of an issue because if like I don't know how they do but they've got auto detectors so if it detects a song that you don't have licenses for or sometimes even if you do have licenses for it will flag you and see you've got copyright infringement in your video that's happened to me a couple of times and all you have to do is um, I think it's like reverse claim or something and you've got to send them a screenshot proving you have the rights for that music if it's not royalty free or you have to remove it or acknowledge and it gets banned in certain countries it's really really weird but with films and TV it's harder to do that because it's visual and that's what they're trying to stop which is fair enough but as I say I would just get rid of Adfly I mean, I'm not entirely sure if you can do that or whatever. Like, getting rid of people advertising if they don't have a partnership. So, yeah, that's been my little rant. And just to let you know, again, I will be uploading daily. Nothing's going to change in that aspect. But, yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, then, uh, you know, hit that like button. It really does help my channel. Subscribe for daily FIFA 14 content. And, yeah, peace.